pulled up, smoking on polo, smoking on Vaughn, ain't worried. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, first and foremost, shout out to Latin Bob 702 and Star Gaze Glow. All right, um, y'all know I never shout out my Cash App, but I do have it in some of my descriptions of my earlier videos. And I happen to check my Cash App because I really use that. I'm a Zell kind of guy, and I realized it was Cash App from them two from like a week ago. So shout outs to them. Um, I don't want them thinking that I'm unappreciative or anything, but I really check my Cash App. Um, I guess I'm gonna start. If you want to donate, uh, V2 Flee V number two F L E E is actually the Cash App tag. But anyway. Let's get straight into this video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. So join the Litters Gang on YouTube so you can stay in tune with the real. Now let's get into it. 069 Lil Kevo, man. Now, when it comes to this situation, um, unfortunately, I have no sympathy towards him. And I feel like he was asking for these results. Now y'all know over here at Hookers Anonymous, I despise anybody that diss the dead. And I feel when you do that, you pretty much letting it be known that you with whatever comes with it. So it is what it is. Now in this case, it seems like a bad case of when clout chasing goes wrong. This man made a song and released a video about six years ago called BDK Freestyle in June of 2015 almost similar to Lil Jojo's BDK anthem that he dropped eight years ago before, back in May of 2013. Now, I'll assume that Lil Kevo's BDK freestyle dropped in 2015 was Lil Jojo inspired because he also rocked the rest in peace Jojo shirt in the video as he dissed guys such as Baldy, OD, LA Capone, uh, Lil Steve, and a bunch of other dead ops. Now fast forward to 2021 of this month, Lil Kevo decides to revamp the record for a second time, titling the song and video BDK Freestyle Part 2, in which this time he decides to target dead ops that included King Vaughn and D-Thing, who is Lil Durk's brother and have been a recent victim of gun violence causing him to lose his life outside of a nightclub back on June 7th of this year. Now it's just a little over a month since the incident happened, so you know the pain from his passing amongst his family and friends is still new. Alright, now in this BDK freestyle part 2, Lil Kevo went on to say lines such as this, quote, I'm still pulled up, smoking on Polo and smoking on Vaughn. Pretty much dissing King Vaughn by saying he's smoking on him and Polo and in Chicago, that's how you diss the dead op, for those that don't know. Now he proceeded later on in the song to pretty much this OTF D thing by saying this D thing will be word that little dude fast Dirk that's a goofy ain't worried about your blood now he going in the mud stupid little dummy should have never been in the club now it was too much curses in that one bar so of course I altered it and you know just a little bit but y'all get the picture then at the end of the song he proceeded to say this quote stay out them clubs dummy now, that's a clear shot at D-Thing, being that D-Thing was killed in front of a nightclub, like I said it earlier. Now look, after dropping that video just a week ago, as of Tuesday, it's been reported that he was shot at least 100 times with about 16 bullets actually hitting him. So, you know, a couple blogs were saying that he was shot at 100 times and he only been hit like 16, which is kind of weird, but anyway. The interesting part of it all is that the incident took place at 6342 South Parnell, Inglewood, which happens to be not too far from Lil Durk's old territory, which happens to be Lamron. But we now point no fingers and can't even tie Durk to this because this guy was dissing a whole bunch of people and dead ops. I see a lot of people running with the fact that he dissed King Vaughn and D-Thing, labeling that the reason he was killed, but in all reality, nobody knows the real reason he was killed or by who yet. However, 16 shots hitting someone sounds very personal. Now, I don't know why they don't have security footage by now. All these murders that's going on in Chicago, they are just going unsolved uh, with unidentified suspects, no camera footage, no nothing, which is crazy to me because I don't know about y'all, but out in New York, there's a whole bunch of cameras on almost every corner, every house. They got that little ring, that new ring doorbell where it records audio and voice 
I mean, audio and voice, audio and video, everything. So I don't know, and I don't understand how everybody's getting away with these murders, but it is what it is. Now, like I said, 16 shots hitting someone sounds very personal. Now, the news haven't gave us any real leeway, but according to reports, they said, quote, the ops ran over Lil Kev and fired 16 shots at the wrap-up, most of which hit him. Lil Kev was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead from injuries sustained in the shooting. All right, so that's something new to me as well, because I didn't know that they actually ran him over. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, that's what the report said in the news. Now, when it comes to how many shots it actually was, I'm unsure because, you know, there was a whole bunch of allegations saying that he was shot at over 100 times. That's what the blog said. But come to find out, he was only hit 16 times. All right. So nine times out of 10, if it was over 100 shots fired, it came from a semi-automatic or a Drake or some sort. Who knows? Now. Let this be a lesson for all you up and coming rappers or just rappers, period. That whole dissing the dead ops for clout and fame only to end up dying right after, right after you get a little bit of notoriety, a little bit of fame, is getting weird out, man. And this is like the quickest way to die. You know, whether you in Chicago, whether you in DC, whether you in Detroit, whether you in Philly, a lot of people don't know. A lot of bodies been dropping in Philly as well. I Detroit as well. These guys are dissing each other and literally dying not too far away from each other, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, you literally trading your life for 15 minutes of fame. And the latest victim of this have been Indian Red Boy. When he sat there, he dissed Nipsey Hussle. He was a part of them guys vandalizing his mural. And then look, they did him dirty, shot him dead in his face while he was on live. Talking about lacking and not having it. You see what I'm saying? Please don't think you're too tough to get touched. I always tell y'all that there was there was uh, mafians, uh, mobsters, all type of cartel guys that have been killed, and they really put in work. So what do you think? What do you think people will do to you? I right? now at this point it's getting out of hand because every other day you turn around, there's a Chicago artist dissing the dead one day and dying almost immediately after. And from the outside looking in, a lot of people are asking, well, how are they getting caught lacking so easily? And other than some of these deaths being related to getting backdoored and guys backdooring each other, you also have to realize how small Chicago really is. Like, I didn't realize how small these blocks were and how close these ops are actually to each other until I did some research they're very very close to each other these guys are literally beefing with each other and shooting at each other and killing each other and they live about two to three or four blocks away from each other look how dangerous that yo it I can't even explain how dangerous that is but it is what it is these are the lives that these guys chose to have you see what I'm saying like I really want you guys to take a map or even go on YouTube because they got people that record these blocks on YouTube. They actually go to Old Block. They go to places in Chicago where people were killed at, whatever. Look at how close these guys actually live next to one another. And you will you you will understand how easy it is to catch somebody lacking. And this is why in Chicago, you got to be like 100 times more on point and aware. And keep in mind, it just came out on Tuesday as well that Chicago gang members are outnumbering the police officers out there. And right now, it's a 9 to 1 ratio. Which means, for every one officer there is, there's 9 gang members. So do you know what that means? That means that these gang members really wanted to get on a bully and take over Chicago like, 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 like Mexicans do in Mexico. With the whole cartel situation, they possibly can. Matter of fact, look, it says here, right, in this article, it says this, Police Superintendent David Brown estimated last year that there are about 117,000 gang associates who are part of the city's 55 known gangs. The number greatly exceeds the city's police force, which employs around 13,000 officers only. Between January and June, there were 363 officers that left the department, according to police pension board figures. It says, quote, we are on track, I believe, to have one of the highest retirement numbers in the city's history, says Ray Lopez, an older man or local official who represents the city's 15th ward, the newspaper reported. 
Now it says the Windy City previously saw 560 retirements in 2020, 475 in 2019, and 339 in 2018, the outlet reported. All right? Now all that tells me is that crime is getting ready to go up. It's already been reported that Chicago is currently on pace to have one of its most violent years in history. So far, 364 people have been killed this year, and that is five more than 2020 already. Keep in mind that we're only in July and have five more months to go, y'all. All right. So like I said, I'm going to leave that there, man. Yo, stop dissing the dad, please. It's going to get you nowhere. You probably can have more success just by making a great song. If you're an up and coming rap out there, whether you're in Chicago, New York, Philly, Detroit, D.C., uh, uh, Atlanta, wherever you at, man, just put on for your city and make a good song. You do not have to diss the dead. As far as um, Lil Kevo, I'm hearing he was really out here doing whatever he's doing, but to be honest with you, I didn't even hear about him until he died. And these are the results that these guys are getting. So it is what it is, man. Let me know how y'all feel, man, about these guys dissing the dead and then getting killed weeks, sometimes days later. All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.